What is the value of the expression 5 squared minus 7 plus 2 inside the parentheses, then multiply by 6 plus 2 inside the parentheses again? Which option do you think is the correct answer to this question? This expression is very deceptive and 99% of people get the wrong answer. Let's go through this question step by step and solve it together. And the first step to solve this question, many people usually go straight to the exponent and write the whole expression as 25 minus 7 plus 2 inside the parentheses, then multiply by 6 plus 2 inside the parentheses again. Then they go to the first parentheses and instead of this expression, they write 25 minus 9 multiplied by 6 plus 2 inside the parentheses. And the next step, they go for the subtraction between 25 and 9, which I have highlighted in yellow. And instead of this expression, they write 16 multiplied by 6 plus 2 inside the parentheses. And the final step, they simplify the expression inside the parentheses and replace it with 16 multiplied by 8, which finally gives them the answer 128. And immediately, they quickly say that the correct answer to this question is option D. However, this answer is absolutely wrong. Alright, now let me show you how to solve this expression properly. As you can see on the screen, and this expression, first we have an exponent, then a subtraction sign, after that we have parentheses, followed by a multiplication sign, and finally another parenthesis. To solve this question, we must follow the PEMDAS rule step by step. And this rule, P stands for parentheses, E stands for exponent, M stands for multiplication, D stands for division, A stands for addition, and S stands for subtraction. We must perform all the operations in this expression exactly according to the PEMDAS rule in order from top to bottom. So, we must start with the parentheses first. Because according to the PEMDAS rule, parentheses have the highest priority compared to the other operations. Okay, instead of this expression, we can write 5 squared minus 9 multiplied by 8. And the next step, we need to go to the exponent. Because in the PEMDAS rule, after parentheses, exponent has a higher priority than the other operations. So, this expression simplifies to 25 minus 9 multiplied by 8. And the final step, it's time for the multiplication between 9 and 8 because multiplication has a higher priority than subtraction. So, we rewrite this expression as 25 minus 72, which ultimately gives us the answer negative 47. That's great. Option C is the correct answer to this question. Alright, now let's solve another tricky math question together. What is the value of the expression 35 divided by 7 multiplied by open parenthesis 90 divided by 9 closed parenthesis? Which option do you think is the correct answer to this question? Let's go step by step and solve it together. Many people when starting to solve this question first focus on the expression inside the parenthesis and instead of considering the whole expression they rewrite it as 35 divided by 7 multiplied by 10. And the next step, they go for the multiplication between 7 and 10 because they believe multiplication has a higher priority than division. So, they simplify this expression and write it as 35 divided by 70, which finally gives them the answer 0 0.5. Then, they quickly say that the correct answer to this question must be option A. But, I have to say, we were tricked and it's not the correct answer to this question. Alright. Now let me explain step by step how to solve this expression correctly. To solve this question, we must follow the order of operations which is PEMDAS. We must carry out these operations strictly in order from top to bottom. Alright, as you can see on the screen, in this expression, first we have a division sign, then a multiplication sign, and finally parentheses. According to the PEMDAS rule, we must start with the parentheses first. Because parentheses have the highest priority compared to the other operations. So, we can write this expression as 35 divided by 7 multiplied by 10. Now, we need to perform the division and multiplication. However, it's very important to keep in mind that multiplication and division are on the same level of precedence. In this case, the best approach is to start from the left and carry out these two operations in order. So, first we handle the division between 35 and 7, which simplifies this expression to 5 multiplied by 10. 
And finally, the value of this expression is equal to 50. Therefore, option C is the correct answer to this question.